talk about grief being a core emotion, mm -hmm. would emotions like guilt and shame be core rather than surface? Um, it depends. A lot of times guilt and shame come from other people. So a lot of times there are actually surface type emotions covering over deeper issues. But um, John Bradshaw has a theory about toxic shame, what he calls toxic um. shame. And toxic shame in, in the end isn't probably an emotion in itself, but he talks about the feeling that you're to blame for your own pain and, uh, and for, you know, for what happened to you when you were little as a child. And he calls that toxic shame, where you've become so ashamed of yourself yes. because you created all of these terrible things mm. that happened to you when you were a child. And a lot of abuse victims feel that. So it's like a deep unworthiness. A deep feeling of unworthiness, a deep feeling of being totally unlovable and I'm to blame. Yes. And that, that is what, what has been one of my core emotions, the feeling that I've been to blame for not being loved. That somehow there's something wrong with me mm -hmm. that has created that, yeah. whatever that is. That that I, you know, there, and when you reincarnate, coming from the twenty-second sphere, in the twenty-second sphere, you are constantly receiving divine love. When you incarnate into your mother's womb, you receive divine love dependent upon whether your mother's receiving it. Mm -hmm. So, if you can imagine receiving divine love constantly for nearly two thousand years. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden coming into a situation where I can no longer feel my, fa my, my, my uh, father's love, God's love, and I can no longer feel my soulmate's love anymore for nine months. Uh, and that, that is one of my core emotions to deal with. Because I, I then went through my mother's filters, went through down this track of blaming. It must be something I did. And I'm still working through that issue. I still feel it's something that I did. So it's a good, very core issue. And you'll find feelings that like that will be very core issues within you. Like a, a, lot of, um, a lot of people who are promiscuous, for example, have a core issue of feeling like they're nothing. They actually feel like they are nothing. And they've just got body and whatever, but they're actually nothing. There's actually everything inside of them is dead. It just does not exist. And so they're willing, they're constantly trying to get a feeling and in this case a sexual feeling, in order to feel like there's something. So a lot of those kind of uh, emotions are very deep causal emotions. Yeah. Can, can, you, can you think of any others that might be causal? Or? Uh, oh, feeling of nothing, feeling yeah. like uh, I don't, like nobody wants me, yes. nobody cares, all of those kind of, I'm unlovable and it's my fault. Yes. Um, you know, all of those kind of things. I'm undesired and it's my fault. Yeah. And all of those kind of things are all very deep core mm -hmm. emotions that we get to. Yeah. <coughs> so, AJ, if we've got those emotions, like that's really core, cool, you know, I'm unlovable and um, it's my fault. Is that a, a sign that we're not very developed as souls? Or, you know, in that new age terms, they talk about old souls and new souls and it's not so good to be a new soul because you're way down the track. <laughs> 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 Is that what it's no, see that's a judgement. Yeah. Um, the truth is that all of these emotions came from, remember I said, here's your mum and dad, let's say, you know, here's you, little tiny baby. <coughs> and what's happening is this soul, which envelops this child, is absorbing every projection from its environment. Now then, can we go and say that child is undeveloped? No. <laughs> can we blame the child for feeling all of these feelings? So why would we choose to have parents when, you know, that are very, very dysfunctional? Mm -hmm. Well, in the first DVD, if you could watch that, I actually say that we didn't choose our parents. Mm -hmm. What about genetic, dis genetic diseases that you're actually born with? Genetic diseases are caused again by the emotions passed down through, you know, subsequent parents. So they can be healed too. Totally, yeah. All disease can be healed. When you're at one with God, you'll never have another disease again. Mm. 